All right, welcome to Cold Fear. Um, <laughs> this game was requested by a friend, and uh, if you've never heard of this game, I'm not. I won't be too surprised. Uh, this came out on the PS2 as a attempt to cash in on Resident Evil 4's success. So this is uh, not Resident Evil. Uh, this is Cold Fear, and I've played like the first 30 minutes of this game, and that's it. So after that, this is going to be a completely blind playthrough. But yeah, um, Resident Evil, this game is not... Um, is this game good? I enjoyed the first 30 minutes of it. Um, less for the reasons I should have, and more for the fact that the game is... Uh, Resident Evil cheese to the max. So, um... I suppose we'll see if this game... Uh, if Cold Fear can do what... Capcom can't, can't com can, can, something like that. Uh, anyway, so we're just gonna start a new game on normal because I've never played this before, other than the first 30 minutes. And I'm gonna shut up for this cutscene. Alpha team, prepare for on my mark. Go, go, go! Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus, Law, do you hear me? Come on, somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come in. Get me another asset up there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood, out. There he is, boys. That's not Leon. Also, that music sounded like the music from the opening cutscene of Return okay, to Castle people, Wolfenstein. You know your assignments. Hanson, you've got main deck port side. Watch yourself. You're going solo. How come Hanson gets all the fun? Because he's prettier than you are, DeSantos. Now cut the chatter. This place is creeping me out. Where is everyone? Steady, Friedman. Remember, I've got that extraction code in case things get hairy. Boarding party, this is the Ravenswood. The seas are too rough. We're gonna have to head back. You're on your own, people. You heard the man. Keep it tight. Hey, Walker. Did you hear that? Hear what? What's that smell? Smells like your the mama's house. The whalers all stink to high heaven. What's that? Open fire! Open fire! Holy shit! Ah! I'm falling back! Reform on my position! I repeat, reform here! Lieutenant Lansing, come in! Come in! Okay, I thought they were going to just talk forever. Uh, so yeah, this is Cold Fear. Um, it is basically what happens when you take the tact tactical action of Metal Gear. Spin. Spin to win. Anyway, it's what happens if you take the tactical action of Metal Gear. Like the third person aiming. That is janky as fuck. And the uh, survival horror elements of Resident Evil 4 and mash them into one game. 
Uh, and despite the fact that this has fixed camera angles, it does not have tank controls, which irritates me to no end. But uh, I'll get over it. So here's a note about ammunition and ammunition, ammunition conservation. This isn't GTA 5. I'm just horrible at reading. Please, I. Excuse me, I would like to read. General Order uh, hashtag 16. Due to the platform's irregular supplies, we must conserve our munitions and medkits as much as possible. Therefore, 1. Live ammo training is now suspended pending new orders. In a combat situation, it is vital that all soldiers look to their download comrades. Uh, down, wait, what? Oh, downed comrades. To their download comrades. Your digital download. Co All right. Anyway, as potential sources of ammo or med kits. In the same interests of economy, use body searches when really necessary. Use the butt of your rifle close combat situation. Well, I don't even have a rifle, I have a pistol. This will enable you to gain the necessary distance to adjust your aim. Some of your opponents will attempt to immobilize you. Do not simply empty your clips. Strike out at them to free yourself and shoot at point blank range. This is generally highly effective. Anishenko. Uh, how do they know that some of my opponents will attempt to immobilize me? They're just kind of assuming. Like, yeah, some of... No, how, you guys don't know that for, for a fact. I accidentally paused the game. How do I unpause? Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Which button did I press? Uh... Uh... uh mate. Chotto Mateo. Please. Oh, please. Please, on pause, please. I, oh, there we go. It's the P key. How did I hit P? Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you can aim like this. Uh, I hope this game has a machine gun, because this is going to be very effective. Uh, and you can aim like this, which this looks much more like the Resident Evil aiming. Now, disclaimer. Uh, I am colorblind. That red laser sight in my flashlight becomes very difficult for me to see. Like, when I'm aiming it, there I can see it. When I put it there, it becomes invisible to me. I, I cannot, like, I cannot see where I am aiming. Uh, in the first 35 minutes that I played this, um, it became very difficult for me very early on to actually see where I was aiming, uh, in part to my colorblindness. So forgive me, I just want to put that out there. Anyway, so yeah, this this game starts you out on a boat, um, which, you know, was a unique setting for this kind of game. Technically, Resident Evil did it first, um, not with Revelations, because that wouldn't come out for a few more years, but with Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. If anyone here has heard of that game, uh, I applaud you. I'm going to assume everything that is in Russian uh, just says Suka. Did that jump scare get you guys? I, it definitely got me. It definitely spooked me. I'm fully loaded with this ammo. With what ammo? That isn't, uh, oh. I was gonna say, that's not fucking ammo, you tard. That's a bad word, I'm sorry. Uh, so there's nothing in here but some ammo that I don't want. Uh, also, forgive me, but why would you leave ammo on the ground? E like, even if it is for a gun you don't have. Uh, what if you got the gun later? And you'd be like, oh, thank god, I picked up all this ammo. Or, or, if the enemy has the gun, you could pick up the ammo and prevent them from being able to um, find any ammo to shoot you with. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, judge judge this game too harshly yet. I mean, I, I I am going to play through the whole thing, unless you know somehow. Whoa, the deck is. I didn't get to read that. Uh, unless somehow it becomes so. I have no. I have to time this just right, or I'll be overboard. Okay. 
Unless the game somehow becomes like unplayable, but I doubt that's going to happen. Dude, that guy just got murdered by the ocean. Poseidon. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I almost just got murdered by the ocean. I was gonna say Poseidon just killed that dude. All right, hold on. I need. While I'm relatively safe, I need to uh, familiarize myself with the controls. That's, oh, look at that. You can crouch in this game. Isn't that something? Great. I thought there was like a, you know, I don't care. These Russian boats aren't exactly built the same hours are. I better read the inscriptions so that I don't get lost. Let's see how much of my Russian I still remember. Well, I'm pretty sure that says Suka. And that says Suka Suka. Uh, anyway, so, my first time playing this. Uh, that electric box there, you have to break it to open this door. I decided to melee it. Uh, and I got electrocuted to death. It's unlocked. Don't melee those. Oh shit. <laughs> I almost just got electrocuted to death anyway. Alright, uh, uh, let's get in here. There we go. Um, this might be the prequel to stop, now that I think about it. Hey! Alright, so, yeah, um, there we go, look at that, you can take cover, it's like a cover-based shooter. Ooh. Oh, I stuck my arm out and shot me in the arm, alright, I don't like this controls, but the heads of these Russians pop like balloons, I'm almost dead. Got him. Alright, that was cool. Good first fight. Uh, how do you take cover and, like, maneuver? Just, like, he just, like, puts his hand on his back. You go to take cover and he's like, oh, my back hurts. Oh, good cover. Good cover taking. Crouch. Retard. Sorry, that's a bad word. This valve must control the sprinkler system. Turn it on. Where did it go? There it is. Oh. Where'd you get that health pack? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. You switch the guards. How do I... Oh, F to reload. Cool. I don't hate this game. I don't know enough about it to hate it. I don't have an opinion of it yet. All I know is I'm getting frustrated with the controls a little bit. But, uh, no, it's great. It's going so good. Suka. I killed a couple of Sukas. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, if I get too frustrated, I can always just spin. Yeah, right back at you, buddy. Man, if only headshots were that easy in Resident Evil 4. Why did the game... No, I, I pressed F to reload and the game's like, no, I gotta pause. No, don't pause. Yeah, that guy, uh... He took a little too long to aim. Also, can I... Okay, that's too bad. Uh, did I check his body? Yeah, I did. Alright. Oh no, no. Oh, these controls. I wish they were tank controls. And what about this door? Anything cool in here? Orbs. Can I make its head pop like a balloon? Yeah, alright. Yeah, they're like water balloons full of red Kool-Aid. Anyway, so our character here, not Leon, um, I don't know what his actual name is. Uh, he kinda actually looks like the character from Resident Evil Dead Aim. Also, this takes place on a boat. Like Resident Evil Dead Aim and like Resident Evil Revelation. So anyway, uh, what's this? Who are you, Preston? Whoever you are, you will open this door now. I'd like to. Can't. Oh, this is a cool room, cool dark room. There we go. Oh. 
Did that get you? Pistol ammo. No, I want to. What are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Stop mailing! Open the door! Where'd the door go? Jeez Louise. I mean, I'm sure if I was playing this on the PS2 with a PS2 controller, I'd have to be having an easier time with the controls, but... Uh, I know, I'm playing it on my PC. With my keyboard and mouse. Let's go in the ammo room. This guy's like, nothing on him. Is he like twitching? No, I guess that's just a boat, because he doesn't have a head. I'm sure that gun doesn't have like, some ammo in it or anything. I got a, a note about the armory. Smoking in the armory is strictly forbidden. All types of munitions are stored there and some are particularly unstable. Moreover, in our environment, there's a high probability of corrosion, which makes the handling of ammunition an even more delicate issue. You are reminded that our facilities for dealing with serious injury are extremely limited. Anishenko. All right, well, um, fully loaded with this ammo. Okay, so there's just a little, there's just a room you can go to to get ammo, I guess. No. Cool, more exposition. Certificate of death, name Corporal Y. Legai. Cause of death electrocution. Yeah, this is my, this is me, this is my character. According to witnesses, Corporal Legai has mis had misplaced his electronic key while in duty, unable to reach his official post. He promptly fired at the electrical control box in door 114, causing it to explode. Exposed live wiring subsequently came into contact with a pool of water on the floor. The door opened. However, Corporal the guy was electrocuted. No follow-up necessary. Well, that's pretty much how I died the first time I played this game. Anything here? Now, the characters... Hold on, go back. My character said something about reading the Russian on the walls. Can he really, though? Oh, you have to... No, um, you really have to... You have to point at it with your gun. Okay, what does that say? Portside cold rooms. What are cold rooms? I'm gonna go the other way. Eh, you know what? No. Let's, let's start that. I see the body. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. Okay. Just making sure. Upper deck key. Look at that. I had to come down here. Okay, so I just realized, like, it's kind of tank controls when you're aiming like this. But only when you're aiming like this. Gotta find a handle to stick back on this door. Great, alright. I gotta find a handle on life. Good um, disciplined run. This this walk cycle this guy has. All right, let's go in the medical room. No need for a med kit right now. All right. Sure could take some um, ibuprofen. All right. Well. Great, it's locked. Locked. Yusupov's diary. Let's read it. 
Our first encounters with the creatures we now call the exocells came roughly two months after drilling, com drilling commenced on the star of Sakhalin platform. In fact, I was already familiar with this platform. We used to use it as a port of call when patrolling these hostile waters, and I was determined it would again be deployed as part of our international operations. While drilling had effectively stopped some years before, this was not because the rig was unprofitable, quite the contrary because the spare parts often needed were simply never delivered. The Russian state's private partners grew weary of the whole affair. All I had to do was wait a couple of years to repurchase it for scrap. At first the cartel was skeptical about the new operation's success and I made the necessary investments for its recommissioning myself. The communication jammer, the plans for which had been provided by former Red Army brain Sergei Ot Otarian, was remarkably effective. As far as international ears were concerned, whether listening in on Earth or from space, uh, there was nothing there but inhospitable ocean and, uh, and the odd iceberg. For the first 25 days, drilling was successful as expected, and then, even though our sonars confirmed the presence of a huge oil reserve. The pressure started to drop. Suddenly the drill brought up several several exocells that Anishenko and his men had great difficulty in overcoming. Two days later, we noticed more specimens crawling up the platform's columns. I immediately gave Anishenko orders to capture some of them. That's when I saw my first contamination. Great. What are exocells? And they come out of the bottom of the ocean. Cool. It's actually kind of an interesting um, plot line. We've got like monsters from the ocean infecting people. It's unlocked. Okay, so disclaimer. I'm colorblind. My laser pointer is red. My flashlight is white. When the two of them shine over each other, I can no longer see my laser pointer. I know that might sound strange, but it's true. Why are you twitching? Stop twitching. that good room These guys aren't good at aiming. Pistol ammo. No luck. Nothing on him. All right. It's like uh, killing people in this game is like uh, like playing the lottery for this guy. He kills them, shoots them in the head, and then he checks their body to see if he gets any gets anything for it. That's why when they don't have anything, he's like, ah, oh, no luck. That was a bad one. Oh, shit. Okay, that one, that kind of, that caught me off guard. Um, damn. Lottery ticket I found on the side of the road doesn't have any money in it. This is the meat room. Seemed like a really stupid idea. Why did you run? I just I turned the sprinkler system on, and this guy runs through the fire, and then dies seconds before the fire he could have waited for was extinguished. 
the hell? What, what the hell? You saw that, right? What the hell? Stop moving, asshole. Like a broken half like one cuts you. Hey, hey, what did I tell you? Get that shit out. Hey, saw that. Stay right there. Great, it's locked. Also, he gets real pissed when the doors are locked. Flashlight is hitting the edge of the skybox right there. You can see it. I see a glitch in the matrix. Alright, well. Glad I came up here. Okay, so you can't carry medkits with you, you literally just, if you're injured and find a medkit, you use it. If you're not injured, no medkit for you. Great, it's locked. How dare they lock doors on this boat, assholes. all over the place on this damn boat. I do my feckin' job, can't do all the locked doors. What is this? More ammo for a gun I don't have. Might as well just leave it right there so that way in case someone else who has the right... This looks like the wrong way. Yeah, you know what? You're right. In case someone who does have the gun comes by, they can have it. Cool, that was great. It's locked. Great, it's locked. This is the meat room again. All right, what about this door? Is it locked? Nope. Ah, oh, shit. See, there's the guy. He has, that guy has a ray gun. Get him. Get him, I can't see my laser pointer. I got him. Uh, hold on, I think I saw that. Oh, okay, that's just a hook swinging around. I thought that was another person for some reason. Stop. Stop moving. If you have a head and you're, like, moving around, I'm just gonna take your head away from you. That's all there is to it, really. Note about barrels. That's a specific. The standard regulations for storage of explosive chemicals are not being followed. Neither one, neither on our supply ships nor on the drilling platform itself. I've even seen barrels lying about that are not tied down. I ask you to exercise your authority to re remedy this situation. I'm really good at reading tonight. 
I know that these barrels can be extremely effective against our enemies, therefore even if it means using them as weapons, I prefer to decide on their position with you. I will ensure that my men use them wisely. Anishenko. Well, that was a really a roundabout way to tell me, hey, shoot barrels because they blow up. It must be downstairs. Okay. Clearly we've checked everywhere else on the boat. It has to be downstairs. Got it. Barrel used effectively. Can I use this harpoon gun? Sick roll, dude. Sick roll. You're like a real action hero. This is actually, this is pretty much as far as I've made it, is this bunk room. Nothing on him. No luck. Didn't win the lottery with that one. Well, I'm going to remove your head. Look, that guy actually fell down when I shot his head off. See, there's there's a reason to, to remove the cranium. I'm also not taking the time to find out if there are survivors. Like, that guy could have just been, like, stuck in that bed. It was, I, as soon as he noticed I was here, he's gonna be like, Hey, help. Help, please. But no, I'm just, like, uh, denied, dude. Lansing? Lansing's dead. Oh, man. What could have killed? He shit himself to death. Now that's what I call explosive diarrhea. At least I found the code. save this game, by the way. I don't know how to save this game. Is it like periodically? Is the game like, hey, uh, save? Yes, no. Hey! Wow, what timing. Yes, I want to save. Save successful. Alright. Well. I don't know, I don't want to see what's going to happen next, because that's where we're ending the episode for now, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you liked the video. Comment any suggestions you might have, and subscribe for more Russian gunship, uh, boat adventures. Time, man. Alright, thank you, have a good, good night.